Wisconsin's news and severe weather coverage. This is Fox 11 News at 5. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us tonight. It's been more than three weeks since three-year-old Elijah Vu was last seen in Two Rivers. Uh, today, the last person to see him, his adult caregiver, Jesse Vang, and his mother, Katrina Bauer, appeared before a Manitowoc County judge. That comes as the search for Elijah continues in various areas around Northeast Wisconsin. Yesterday, a group of volunteers were combing through the Boo Bolts Nature Preserve in Grand Chute, searching over 700 acres there for anything that could help lead to finding the boy. Today's highly anticipated court appearances of Bauer and Vang revealed little in terms of where Elijah Vu might be. However, we did learn a trial for Katrina Bauer will be starting soon. Fox 11's Andrew Mertens brings us the latest information. Appearing by video from the Manitowoc County Jail, Katrina Bauer and her attorney declined to have the evidence against her read in court Thursday. Judge Robert DeWayne asked Bauer a series of questions before proceeding. Has anyone threatened you in any way or promised you anything to get you to waive your right to a preliminary hearing? No. You're doing so freely, voluntarily, and intelligently? Yes. The judge later ruled there's enough evidence to send her to trial. Bauer is the mother of missing three-year-old boy Elijah Vu. She's charged with one count of child neglect and another of chronic child neglect. On Thursday, Bauer and her attorney dropped their motion to dismiss the chronic neglect charge. Some of the charges she's facing have to do with Bauer's six-year-old daughter. As for Jesse Vang, he still does not have an attorney. He is also charged with child neglect. Prosecutors say Bauer sent Elijah to stay with Vang for disciplinary reasons. Vang reported the boy missing last month. Vang qualifies for a state public defender, but one has not yet been appointed to him. In terms of the investigation, the Two Rivers Police Department had been regularly posting updates to social media. The most recent one came on Monday. Police were not able to speak with me regarding the investigation on Thursday. With three-year-old Elijah Vu still missing, community members at Thursday's hearing became emotional when talking about the situation. I just feel so bad for all the family that I know they really love him and they're missing him. So I just wish somebody would tell us if he is out there, where is he? As we're left wondering what happened to Elijah Vu, the cases against his mother and caretaker will be under a microscope. Vang will return to court on March 21st, while Bauer will return one day later on March 22nd. Outside the Manitowoc County Courthouse, Andrew Mertens, Fox 11 News. Have you been searching since day one? I have. Not every day, but I've had. How are you doing? Well, today I'm, I'm not sure what to say. I mean, they just, my friends explained that she's going to waive her right and she's going to plead guilty, but where's that little boy? Yeah. What are you feeling right now? Sad. Sad. If that was my grandkid or my kid, I'd want to know where he is. I don't understand none of this. What brought you to this hearing today? <laughs> just to see what was going to happen. I just feel so bad for all the family that I know they really love him and they're missing him. So I just wish somebody would tell us if he is out there, where is he? We're near, or more than three weeks now. How has the tone in your feelings, how, I mean, how has that changed since? It's gone up and down. One day you might be okay and the next day you're not like today. Yeah, you think about him all the time when you go to bed at nighttime and I'm sure the whole community does because it's reached everywhere throughout Wisconsin and I'm sure around the U.S. Yep. How do you keep showing up? Praying that someday, someday I'll wake up and I'll hear he's okay. Yep. My heart goes out to the family. I guess what's the feelings of a lot of the other people around you? Do you feel kind of the same about how you're feeling? I right do. Now? I do. I know a lot of people and some days they're okay and the next day they're not because they're wondering and they're worrying. How can we all just sit here and knowing where is that little boy? Somebody needs to tell us whether he's gone or he's here. I think that's a big question for everybody right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Will you continue to search? I will until I hear something. Yep. Do you have a message to community members? It sounds like the community is just rallying and hugging they his are, family. 
they are wonderful. The whole community has been there for them. And I know that everybody's reached out and tried to help in any way they can, whether it be donations or searching for the little boy or just being there for the family. Even some elderly come in and they just want to be a part of it and they'll bring a treat. And I just know, Elijah, you're loved wherever you are if you're out there. That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome.